The Lifetime Productivity Project is, is a long project. It's over 10 years in, in length. And what we're looking at is the productivity of Merino ewes. So we're measuring about 5,000 ewes, looking at their productivity in terms of number of lambs and their wool cut and their total productivity over their lifetime. There's really not much we're not collecting from these sheep. So if you can think of a trade in Merinos that you can measure or score or assess, we're basically collecting it. But most importantly, we're collecting a whole range of visual traits. So it's not all about objective measurement, and in fact, more information is collected on visual traits than they are on objectives. The beauty of the project is that we've got sites in varying locations across Australia. The idea is that we can assess how the animal or the sheep perform in those different environments, and that's where our link size become very important and then we're able then to compare across the sites. So we're trying to find the sheep that are going to be the most productive over time and probably more importantly is getting the data over the next five years to make that accurate assessment of those sheep so that when people buy their sires or if they look at a sire evaluation uh, that they can buy with more confidence. We know that you know there's wool traits and there's meat traits and reproductive traits. Is there actually an animal that has a combination that is elite in all of those facets? It's giving us other information about whether you can choose those animals early in life with confidence as to how they're going to perform throughout their lifetime. And equally, um, are there animals that perhaps by um, a younger age will not be so great? Uh, or are there some animals that would you would perhaps retain for longer because they are still productive into what we might consider old age? first time we've ever entered a sire into one of these projects. The more we discover about the merinos generally, uh, the more we discover we don't know. So this is just another uh, avenue to go down and, and learn more about the animals that we love to breed. The selection often has been happening at younger on younger ages. So what we're trying to do is, is give the tools to the commercial growers through via the studs, the ability to select with increased accuracy at the younger ages for increased lifetime productivity. Once we get all of these sires into the, in, into the, the tank, 167 sires and 5,500 ewes that will be measured, the information that will come out of that will be extremely powerful for all marine overages. It's about, it's about creating a database of information across a huge number of sheep that is going to allow the industry over a long period of time to answer all the important questions of breeding marine sheep.